Hi, everybody. My name is Miss Abby. I'm the program manager for the Wingate School Partnership here at Trike Theater. I'm really excited to be here to talk to you more about some art activities that you can do from home. So this week at Trike This at Home, we're talking more about our five actors tools. And today I'm going to talk to you more about two of those tools. They are your body and your imagination. I have some really cool activities that you can do from home. So I don't know about all of you, but I've been really feeling sad about not being able to go outside and go for walks as much as I used to. I feel kind of cooped up being inside for so long. So I wanted to think of an activity that could happen where I could go out for a walk outside and I found one that I want to share with you. Adults, this is one for you too. So what you're going to do is you're going to go outside and you're going to do something called a nature walk. So this is just going somewhere outside that has some nature in it, some trees, some leaves, some branches, some grass. So you can go for a walk around your neighborhood. You can go into your backyard. For me, I live in an apartment and I don't have a backyard. So I went somewhere that I knew I could go that I would have nature, but not a lot of people. That's something that's important about this too. Make sure even when you're doing this activity, you're still practicing social distancing. So when you're walking outside, wherever it is you find that it's a good place for you to walk, notice the things that are around you that are from nature. So you can look at leaves and trees. You can see twigs. You can see grass. You can see flowers. I'm sure there's a lot of really cool things from nature that are around you. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to see what things are around you that you can carry, that you could take back home with you. So when I did my walk, I wanted to make sure I found things that had already fallen down so I wasn't picking things that were growing. So here are some things that I was able to find. I saw this really cool leaf. <laughs> I thought it was pretty cool, so I got it and I grabbed it. I found some of these needles like this. I thought it was pretty cool, so I picked it up. And the cool thing about this is that inside, it had a little extra color and I liked that. So I brought it home. I also noticed this really cool pine cone. I picked this one because I thought it looked the coolest. So as you're walking around, you get to decide what it is you pick that you can see. It helps to have something that you can carry everything in. I have this that I stored all of my stuff in once I got home, but I didn't bring anything to carry. <laughs> so I had to just kind of hold everything. So it might be good for you to bring a bag or a basket or something like that. So while you're outside on your nature walk, collecting things that you feel are really cool, make sure you take your time doing this. Feel free to walk around for as long as you are comfortable and as long as you're safe. So when you feel like you're done, you'll come back home. You'll bring all your stuff with you. And then this is where you get to use your imagination. So I would like you to try to use your imagination to create a picture. Now, you have a lot of items available to you to create your picture with. You get to decide what your picture looks like. So do you think your picture should be something that kind of looks like a scene of what you just saw outside? Great, go ahead and do it. Do you want your picture to show the things you found that you liked the best to the things you found that you didn't like as much? Great, make it. Do you wanna make something completely different? Go for it. You can make a picture of outer space. You can make a picture of an animal. You get to decide what it is you wanna make using these things that you just found. If you have other art materials at your house, feel free to use those as well. So for my picture, I decided that I would use some white paper, some white printer paper, because that's kind of what I had available. Uh, you can decide to use paper or not. If you have somewhere in your house you can put these items out on and just arrange them the way that you want, that's great, do that. Take a picture of it. 
Now, once you're done, yours can look like whatever you want it to. You can use glue to put things down. You can use tape. You can staple the leaves, whatever is going to work for you. So I'm going to take some time to try and put all of my stuff in a way that I like. Give me a second, be right back. So I've taken some time. I've come up with something I think is really cool. So I decided to put things the way that I liked it. I didn't necessarily think about, well, what would other people think if they saw this? I thought, you know what? This is what I like. This is where I'm gonna put it. So let me show you what I came up with. So I got a bunch of cool stuff. I decided I wanted this to look kind of like a tree because on my walk, I saw a really big tree. I wanted this to come up kind of like it was the tree. So I tried to make mine a little bit 3D. How do you think I did? I like it and that's what matters. So you can look at it this way too. But I kind of like looking at it like it's this way. So this is what I came up with, stuff from my nature walk. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you are able to create amazing works of art. I have no doubt. The important thing is that you make something that you like. All right, so that's all from me for today. I would love to see what you come up with. So take a picture of whatever it is you do and email it to trike community at trike theater.org. Well, thank you all very much. I'll see you next time.